We're going to Kaladesi Island today. In this video, we explore Kaladesi Island's pristine white sand beaches covered with shells. We hike a nature trail with unique Florida ecosystems and history. We rent a kayak on the island to paddle through a tunnel of mangrove forests, which to me are mangroves. We start off telling you several ways you can get to the island. The easiest way to get to the island is the privately operated ferry from Honeymoon Island State Park. You can also paddle a row from Dunedin Causeway. Another option is to charter a jet ski or boat from the Clearwater Beach Marina. Years ago, a hurricane displaced sand causing a land bridge between the tip of Clearwater Beach and Kaladesi Island. It's possible to walk to a land bridge in about one to two hours. Keep in mind your return to Clearwater Beach and that you might have to walk in some shallow water. Located just west of Dunedin, Florida, Kaladesi Island was created from the shifting sands by the action of wind and water. The only camping allowed on the island is if you rent a boat slip for the night at the marina. The nature trail only takes an hour and a half, but you get to see four different ecosystems. Now this is a barrier island that of course has mangroves, but it also has these palm trees. It was burned out by a fire recently. Oh wow, the fire was actually a prescribed fire to help nature. And one of the reasons for the controlled burn is to protect these pine trees from oaks and other hardwood trees from invading and taking over. The initial prescribed burn probably scares a lot of people about coming on this nature trail, but as you get into it, you see that it's a proper Florida preserve. You can see some footprints here on the trail. Well, I haven't seen you, but I think I've seen your tracks. Okay, I did just see a raccoon, he made a, t a run for it though, so I couldn't catch him on camera. But they are here. You can see the palm leaves swaying in the wind. It's nice to have a breeze because this is, you know, swampland, so there are mosquitoes. I'm hearing a lot of birds. We've been on the nature trail, and now we're gonna head to the beach to see if we can find shells and beautiful beach. Oh wow, the color of the water is just so gorgeous. And there's tons of sh shells here. I think they're they're called scallop shells. These two shells are still connected. But the little animal's gone. You can see further down the beach where the umbrellas are. That's where most people go. Looks like they're ready for some rising water. Or a rinse off shower. Friendly replay toy action at the beach. Okay, let's get back to the nature trail. So we started here at the marina, in the old tower site, hiked the trail into the beach, hiking on to the hammock loop now. We'll go see this historic harp tree, what it's all about. You can see my face just glowing with happiness here in the nature. Okay, well, it's probably actually sunscreen and sweat from the humidity, but I choose happiness. I guess you could say it's Papa's paradise. Should we give this video some thumbs up? Live oak trees here in Florida are one of the oldest and sturdiest trees. It can grow slower than other hardwoods, but it can withstand hurricanes, fires, floods, apparently even people. This moss that hangs from the trees, so classic Florida. 
Here's a freshwater pond. It is small, but it's here year round, so the critters that live on Calidesi Island can survive. Uh oh. Homestead ruins. Let's go see some ghosts. All right. May not be able to make it to the homestead. Okay, I did tiptoe around the edge of the uh, obstruction on the path here, but I was worried about those snakes. We made it to the homestead site, which is what you can see behind me here. There's not much apparently left, and it's uh, you know treasured, so shouldn't go and approach it. I didn't live in Florida, but I have five generations of families before me that did, so time for a little seance, you know, calling my ancestors at the homestead site from when you were here. Can you feel me? Anyway, I can feel them because all those generations put together me, so here we are. It's kind of a triumph to make it here. Now we pick up a kayak for the next leg of our adventure. I put my phone in a locker at the cafe, but the kayak does have a waterproof compartment for less valuable things. Entering the tunnel. Here we go. The one hour you go through left markers one through six and then head back when you hit the open water. So that's what we're doing today. Let's go underwater and see what we can see. During my stunt of putting the camera on a tree, my, my life preserver fell over. I didn't notice it until, until I got it far away. So I had to go back and get it. And of course, in my panic paddling, some big ass bug jumped on me. <laughs> Woo. I, got, I got the adrenaline going now. As the mangrove trees come closer to the water, it becomes a skill to avoid them with the paddle strokes. It is so much easier to paddle when you're not dodging mangrove limbs. You can see the water here, and the bottom is about two or three feet deep. Florida Gulf Coast sand is actually quartz particles that came down a river from the Appalachian Mountains at the end of the last ice age 20,000 years ago.